today's red day and top tip is like managing your bush dairy or maybe called your mobile dairy. So here we have the cows that are on their fresh piece of grazing and the uh, waiting for the arrival of, of the dairy. The beauty of the mobile system is that instead of the cows having to walk a long distance to the dairy, the dairy is actually coming to them. And as you can see it coming over there. And we'll see how it's best to set up the dairy and organize your milking with a mobile milker. It's been parked. We're, it's quite important your orientation. So we try and have the sun uh, towards the front so that the, the areas, the dairy itself, and where the cows and, and the milkers will be standing will be shaded. And as you can see inside the dairy, it's been preloaded with the feed. So on its way down to the milking area uh, where the cows are, should I say. Um, they, they pick up the feed and obviously they need all their milk cans. When they've arrived, they have full bags of feed and when they leave, hopefully they'll have full cans of milk. In this situation where we've got irrigated pastures, we, and we've got had some rain last night, we don't want the pasture being damaged by driving the dairy and milking on the pasture itself. We have these runoff areas with felt grass, uh, but where we milk um, and where we set up the bush dairy. So it's very important that you have a grassy cover, you don't want to be milking in dirt or in mud. Um, over here, it's a this, this dairy here, we milk using a, a small generator. Um, there, are, there is a chance wherever you've got electricity and, and cattle and water of electric shock, so we try and be very cautious by having, making sure we hit on a good earth stake and uh, having earth leakage devices and tripping systems to make sure there's no danger to the operators or the cattle. So with the bush dairy we have to open up the sides um, so that we can get the cows in. And this is where the cows then come underneath to be milked. Now the milkers are just preparing the area. We put down mats um, that the cows that we put under the cows just in case the clusters do fall off and there's mud or manure. The, the clusters won't suck up any dust or grass or anything. So those mats must obviously be cleaned after each milking, probably even uh, washed down a couple of times during milking. Milkers have prepared the bush dairy, lifted up the sides and got all the equipment ready. Here's their strip cup. Inside here is their uh, seat blocker if there's a three quarter cow. Um, all, this is protected from the slightest, obviously the strip cup. Those are prepared. Then in here, they have their reusable udder cloths, uh, which are soaked in a sanitizer. They're really in, um, being held up here in this holder. So that they're really good for wiping the cows and keep cleaning the udders nicely. And here's the teat dip cup, ready as well, uh, with a good quality teat dip for after milking. Um, here they've prepared the uh, cluster flushing buckets, which is filled with water and sanitizer. Um, which so the clusters can be flushed out after each cow, especially if they've uh, fallen on the ground and, and got dirty. They're also busy preparing the, the feed. They'll move out the way so that they, they can start to give the cows their uh, dairy meal while they're milking. Another important part of running your bush dairy is feeding the cows correctly. So obviously you want to feed them as much as possible of your pastures, of your silages, your home ground feeds, but generally you do need to supplement them some concentrate. And in a, in a situation where you're running the cattle uh, in the bush or on pastures, there's, you don't normally have feed troughs. So the best or really only time uh, to feed them is while they're being milked. So to make sure the, ca the cows are getting the right amount of feed for their production, because we check their production every fortnight, and then we, we want to feed them according to their production. So we've developed a system where we put different color ropes. You can see there's a cow with a green rope, a cow with a pink rope, and then there's the cow with no rope. So each of those um, colors or ropes signifies the amount of food. We then have different containers so that we know the green cows get a full bucket and the, the big bucket, the red, the pink cows get a different size bucket and so on ensuring they're all fed. Um, the other important thing is to make sure that the, the cows are only getting their share of the food and not stealing from the other cow. In some of the newer bush dairies, we've put in more railing to make sure that they only get what, what is meant for them. We're milking the cows. Um, we then turn off the vacuum here and then we weigh the milk uh, in, the, in the can. 
very simple way of doing it. Once after weighing, we then pour it into the cans that we have ready here. They obviously all been cleaned, sanitized, and kept closed. And we pour them through this through the sieve. And in the sieve, we have filters. We have a stainless steel sieve and some filter paper. I make sure that we get the milk as clean as possible and don't have any foreign objects in the milk. As you can hear, the generator running in the background, running the uh, which is pulling the vacuum pump. So we've got vacuum to milk with and we can milk the cows out here in the bush. What a pleasure.